Well, imagine a virtual world, not too far away from here, where image J runs in a browser. A browser suspended in a massive window that's suspended in space. And the 3D plugin works an absolute treat. How cool is that? Well, that was cool. Now, last week I made a video about MHJ running in a browser and worked great, um, except that I couldn't find the 3D plugin. The developer got in touch with me, showed me where the 3D plugin was, also pointed out that the windows, the menus now no longer hide behind the image. So I thought I'd just jump back on and then show you quickly how that all works. All right, we begin by going to the MHJ homepage, just do a search for MHJ and you'll find run image j in a browser should load up pretty quickly so remember last time when i looked at this i commented that the menus always popped behind the the image and then as i said in the intro there the developer got in touch with me to say that yeah that that was fixed that i was possible looking at an older version so let's have a look at that fly brain that we were looking at in full glorious VR just before starting. So there's our fly brain and you see that the window, sorry the menu is now you run across the image which is great. Got a nice uh, fly brain there. Kind of looks a bit saturated but hey that's not the, the point of what we're about today. I mentioned I couldn't find the plugin for 3D. Plugin for 3D is quite simply view in ITK VTK viewer. Load that and up it pops. Now you'll notice that there's all this stuff in front of the, the, the image. You click on the little hamburger, I, hamburger icon just to get rid of that. And there we have our gorgeous 3D reconstruction. Uh, there's a lot of nice features in here. You can show just the the the, the Z planes. You know, you can do the orthogonal viewing. Um, that's actually a bit clearer uh, if you yeah switch them on here. Okay, so that's the. X, X, Y and X, Z planes. Back to the volume. And you can add in the, the orthogonal planes, I think. No, is that not showing? Oh, there it is. Just took a little bit of time to, to catch up. So there's our, there's our 3D object with orthogonal planes. And you'll have to move you can move this window around to uh, in order to expand this out here, which makes it a little bit easier for moving the for moving the orthogonal planes. Beautiful, works really nicely. I have to give this ten out of ten now. Well done.